I'm Anastasia Chaska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sew Anastasia's 12 Days of Christmas. December 1st through the 12th, I will be putting out a new tutorial every single day. All of these tutorials are going to be about creating gifts that you can give this holiday. These are gonna be super easy DIY gifts that you can make right at home. There's nothing better than getting and receiving DIY holiday gifts. Speaking of gifts, I am giving away a sewing machine this holiday. I'm giving away this brand new, beautiful Husqvarna Viking Jade 20 sewing machine. All you have to do is enter the giveaway and the link is down below in the description with all of the details. This contest starts December 5th and goes through December 15th and I will be picking a winner on December 20th. So tell all your friends and family and make sure you get your entries in. I cannot wait to read your post on what inspires you to sew. It is super easy to enter and how amazing would it be to win a new sewing machine for Christmas or you could even give it as a gift. And don't forget, all of the details are down below in the description for how to enter. And if you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. And don't forget, I now teach sewing classes in my design studio in Chicago, Illinois, and I teach virtual lessons as well. So make sure you check those out at SewingAnastasia.com. Today on the 12 days of Christmas, we are gonna make this super cute caddy out of clear vinyl. It's perfect for putting your projects in or keeping it next to your sewing machine with all your little tools in it. This caddy is super customizable. Let's say your friend is really into drawing. You can make a bunch of little spots so that way they can put all of their different pencils and markers in it on both sides. Or you could make one of the bigger pockets big enough to fit their notepad in or their drawing pad in. Or maybe you're really into gardening or you know somebody that's really into gardening and you wanna gift this to them. You could make the spots big enough for all their gardening tools. So this little creative caddy is great no matter what your hobby is. I made mine all about sewing because I love sewing. Supplies for this project are as follows. You're going to need your Teflon foot for sewing the vinyl if you're using vinyl. You're going to need some contrasting thread. You're also going to need two straps. You can also cut these out of fabric or vinyl, but I'm going to be using this webbing for the handles. We're also gonna need about three quarters of a yard of vinyl, and I'm using a contrasting vinyl for the pockets. But you can use any fabric you'd like, as long as it's thick enough to hold the structure for the bag. And you're going to need a pattern. So if you don't have a pattern, you can download the one that I have on my website on sewingthestage.com under digital downloads. We have it all marked out so you know exactly where your pockets go, exactly where to fold all the lines so that way your bag turns out perfect. The first thing you need to do is cut out your paper pattern or create one. If you're printing mine, it's going to look something like this. But that's not the only piece. You're also going to have a strap pattern and you're going to have a pocket pattern as well. Next, we need to cut out our fabric. I've cut out my pieces and yours should look something like this. This here is the body of the bag. These here are the two pockets and these are the straps. The next thing we need to do is place our pockets and sew them down. And since we can see right through the vinyl, I'm gonna put my pattern under it so I know exactly where to place my pocket. So I can see where my pocket goes right here. So I am going to place it on. And the other nice thing about vinyl is it sticks to itself. So you don't need pins, pretty cool. So if I wanted to do just two big pockets, I could put a mark and just sew right up the middle here. But if you have something else that you wanna make pockets for, go ahead and place them under here and figure out where you need to sew your lines. So if I wanted to make a bunch of pockets for pencils, I would take this and place it on top or you could put it underneath and figure out where I need my next stitching line. And then I could figure out exactly how far I need to space these pencils and where my sewing lines need to be. And that works with anything that you would like to put in these pockets. And if you're using a different fabric other than clear vinyl, you can totally just grab your ruler and chalk and chalk out exactly where you want your sewing lines to be. The first pocket I'm gonna sew on is this one on the outside, which is one division down the middle. Now, if you're a sewer, the cool thing is these pockets fit a sewing pattern. If you've downloaded my pattern, there's a mark on it so that you know exactly where to sew. So you're gonna get the division line for the patterns, but obviously it's customizable. So go ahead and put those sewing lines wherever you want for your pockets. 
Okay, let's go sew our first pocket down. First thing we're gonna do is sew these three sides here at an eighth of an inch away from the edge. Make sure you're leaving the top opening open because this is gonna be the top of our bag here. Don't forget to back stitch or fix. When you get to the end, back stitch or fix. I have the pocket sewn on all three sides, and now I have a chalk line right down the middle of my vinyl so I know exactly where to sew. So now we're gonna sew that down and be done with this pocket. I'm starting at the bottom of my pocket. I'm going to use my fix button, and I'm just gonna follow that chalk line all the way up to the top, and then I'm going to fix again or back stitch. Okay, let's try it out and put the sewing pattern in it. Check that out, it fits perfectly. Now it's time to mark up our other pocket and sew it on. Now we're gonna place our other pocket down and mark all those little divisions. And I'm gonna be following the ones that are on the pattern. So I'm gonna line it up with the marks on the pattern. Flatten it out. And now I'm gonna take my ruler and chalk and go ahead and chalk all these lines. Now that we have it all marked, let's go sew it down. Okay, so first I'm gonna sew around the three sides and then sew my divisions. And we're done. Now that we have all of our pockets sewn on, we are gonna take the bag and fold it right sides together. We're gonna to line all your edges up and we're gonna sew up the side seams right here a quarter of an inch. So let's go sew these sides. We are getting close to finishing. Now we have both sides sewn up. What we need to do is sew the bottom corners of the bag. So we're gonna take it and open it up so that way the seam that we have becomes flat in the middle of this opening here. So we want these two edges to line up and we are just gonna sew a quarter inch right here. So you can see I have the side of the bag and then this bottom opening here. Again, we're gonna take the bag and open it up so it's not flat. And now you're gonna have two straight edges here and we want those straight edges to line up and now we're gonna sew them up a quarter of an inch. It's kinda like magic how those corners just come together. Don't forget to backstitch. Backstitch at the end and cut. We have the other side. Stitch and cut. Now that we have the bag's bottom sewn up, we are gonna take it and flip it right side out. It always feels a little tricky in vinyl because it's real crunchy, but you just gotta push it right side out. Okay, now we have our bag right side out. But what we need to do next is go ahead and sew up a little eighth of an inch seam on the side of the bag here. And there is a mark on the pattern for this if you'd like some guidance. So this eighth of an inch edge stitch on the corner here is gonna give the bag some crispness and help it stand up straight. 
So you can see that we've done it on all four sides of this bag here. So go ahead and edge stitch all your corners. So what we want to do is just pinch the side so that way we can sew it with the wrong sides together because this edge stitch is on the outside of the bag. Just make sure that it's a nice even distance from the pocket over to where you're starting to stitch. If you'd like, you could also chalk this line. So let's head over to the sewing machine and sew up all four of the sides so that way this bag stands up nice and straight. Okay, so let's edge stitch all these sides. Now that we have these edge stitches sewn up on the bag, it is so much more structured on the sides. You can see how it will now just stand up on its own without completely collapsing. We've made it to the last step and that is sewing on the straps. There's going to be a few little notches on the pattern so you know exactly where to put your straps or go ahead and place your straps wherever you would like. So what we're gonna do with the strap is fold it towards you and then I want you to put that raw edge towards the outside. And we're gonna do this because we don't wanna see a raw edge on the inside of the bag. And then we're just gonna do a nice little square around the edge of where you can see the strap and then it's gonna turn out just like this. So let's go sew on those straps and then we're done. Okay, so let's sew down the top of these straps. We're just gonna sew a little rectangle all the way around following the edge of the strap. So just turn when you get to the corner. Come all the way down to the bottom of the strap. Go ahead and turn. Now we're gonna come back up. Make sure you backstitch and cut. Now we're gonna do that to all the straps. We did it, we finished it, it is looking awesome. I put a bunch of supplies in it to show you exactly how it's going to look. So the inside's big enough to fit your fabric in it for a project. You can fit your patterns on the side over here or some rulers. And then on the other side, I have my rotary cutter, my snips, my seam gauge, my regular scissors, some pencils. So we have everything in here we need basically to create a project. All we need is a sewing machine in the middle, right? Ha ha ha. And remember, you can customize this tote for just about any hobby. Thanks so much for watching Sewing Anastasia today. I hope you had fun making this hobby tote with me today. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I would love to know what you thought of it. Also, don't forget I'm giving away a sewing machine this month and all the details are gonna be down below in the description. This project is a part of the 12 Days of Sewing, so make sure you check out all the other awesome gift giving ideas as well. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok and Twitter and all those fabulous social media websites so that way we can stay connected and inspired together. And I would love to see your project, so make sure you tag me at Sewing Anesthesia so that way I can repost them and share them with everyone else. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!